wall can't catch up with puck as it goes into the corner. Big hit by Harvey as the rush keep it into the Maverick zone. Harvey a one-timer and a score. Jesse Schultz on just a perfect pass from Harvey. Now the rush arguing, will this be a washout? I think, I do believe they, no, I think the rush now as they turn around, I think they, they're gonna, their rush is celebrating it as it is a goal. It really just kind of hung out back here, hasn't had to face much of anything offensively from Missouri. Over the line, Barshot gives to Clark, sliding across to make a huge save with Josh Robinson. Janelle, who tries to race up the right side, he is hit, loses the disc, and Cullen spins in the corner to his goaltender's right, stolen by Downing, who hands off, and a score! Jordy Woodrick, his first professional goal. Let's see if they get the puck for him. Goal number one in the career of Jordy Woodrick. Centered it, big blast from just up top of the circles, beat Potasio low to the left side. What a great time for his first career goal. Mavericks essentially nothing going offensively at all. And all it takes is just one. Drives it on the near side. Alvarez shot through traffic. Kick save, the rebound, score! Oh, there was a scramble. I think it was John Scott Dixon who tapped home a power play goal, and the Mavericks have come from one down. They are one up. The power play continues to pay dividends for the Missouri Mavericks. JSD posted up in front. Browner fired it across the crease. I think it deflected in front right down to the stick of John Scott Dixon in perfect position, buries it behind Batachio and the Mavericks have taken this two to one lead, 12 11 to play. What's important here for the Mavericks now is to go goal, to go goalward, excuse me, go for that left wing corner, set up and Ferio scores. Oh my gosh, he had all evening that he waited before he roofed one. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on out here. The Mavericks within about a 45 second time span Two Mavericks players had sticks knocked, literally physically knocked out of their hands. Stevenson just a moment ago, which allowed Griezmann to get so wide open in the slot area and then he roofed it. And then even before that, Jared Brown had the stick knocked out of his hand and it went over the boards and into the fans. And apparently that's not in the Mavericks zone goes. Ferio gets by the defense. There's a scramble cleared. It comes to Earhart, a rocket. He sails it wide. Three seconds to go in the period. Tied up behind the goal, and we are going to overtime. Aims the red line into the Mavericks zone. Hands off, it goes to Daychief. Oh, what a save on a wrister by Daychief. Another stop, catching it and holding on. Robinson. Two minutes, 53 seconds into overtime. The second goal of the game, the tying goal by Rapid City's Ferio. He went up top shelf. Since then, we've seen Rapid City attempt that same shot going up top shelf. He moves forward slowly in on Batachio. Sparks, score! Right-handed shot, slowly across the blue line. Swings to the right, now he's up the middle, and he scores. So, it, Mavericks need a stop from Robinson to send this to an overtime shootout. Kerbashian moves goalward and he scores. Well, it comes down to a shootout. The Mavericks get just one point in the standings. And you have